Shalise Heard is back and I want to talk to you guys about minimalism, cleansing your area, and how that helps unblock you and unblock everything about you. A little bit of a, about me, I am someone who loves to shop. I love clothing, I like things that are on sale. I always feel like, I always felt like things that were on sale I had to have it because it was like a scarcity mindset. When I saw something on sale, I thought that I would never see anything that good again, so I would get it. And then I had this habit of getting it, and it would sit in the closet for months at a time. It would sit in the closet, and it would sit and just take up space. And I would never end up wearing it. And a lot of times I would get these clothing items, and I would decide that I didn't like them anymore. Like, for some reason, sometimes things look better in the store than they do on you at home in your own lighting. So. I had this bad habit of buying things just to be buying things and truth of the matter is I was trying to fill a void so so much of my life being autistic I always felt insecure about being able to lead a normal life being able to be independent and being able to have material success as well so I always felt insecure about that and buying things especially clothing since I like clothing was a way for me to prove my worth it was a way for me to prove something to those naysayers who always said that I couldn't and it was a way for me to feel validated when I would just buy things unnecessarily. It would make me feel validated. To admit that short story short, that was me trying to fill a void. And as I've gotten older, I've realized that having all of this unnecessary stuff has come to bog me down a lot. And I've grown up and I've realized that my values, you know, I love to travel. I love picking up and moving. I like to have freedom. I like to have space. I don't like to be constricted. And having a lot of stuff makes me feel constricted. And I've actually recently undergone an entire cleansing of my apartment. I actually got rid of a whole bunch of clothing and just random stuff and decorations that I felt very near and dear to me. And I was holding on to this stuff in hopes of, okay, I'll lose weight and fit into this. And I held on to this stuff just because I felt like, oh, I spent money on it, so I should not give it away. I should hold on to it. And I, I held on to things that I did not even use, and it took up space, and I held on to this stuff for a variety of reasons. But the biggest thing is, I had to learn to let go of things that don't serve me in order to unblock myself, in order to make myself mobile again, to move again, and not be stressed out. So I had to learn to do that. I recently gave away a bunch of my favorite clothing to my little sister, and that made the process, giving it to someone that I love, and seeing her enjoy it, and seeing her look good in it, and seeing her look fabulous in it, actually made the grieving process when I was giving these clothes away so much smoother. It was so much easier to give it away because I knew that I was giving it to someone who would enjoy it and just embody it and really appreciate it. So that made it so much easier. But I urge you guys, if something that you don't need in your house, if there's something that you don't need, something that you don't use, if you have not used it in at least a year, and if you don't wear it, if it's taking up space to purge, you would feel all the more better for it. You would feel so much better if you just got rid of everything that does not serve you. Because here's what I realized. Not only does excessive stuff hold you back, not only does it hold you back, it actually makes you feel blocked. And it's, it's just a waste of money. And it's, it also messes with your creativity too because you've got all this stuff that you're worrying about carrying. Like it feels like you're carrying around a burden. And so getting, a, getting rid of that stuff helps you to make room for the new person you're, you're becoming. It helps you to make room for the woman or man that you're now becoming. And it gives you the freedom to explore and it's less stressful to carry it around. And so that makes it less of a block so that you can have the freedom to do what you need to do when you're not carrying so much stuff. So that is what I have for you guys today as far as carrying so much stuff. And here's a tip for you guys. I have looked at apartments before and so many apartments have so much furniture in them, so much decoration in them. And even model homes that I looked at have like so much stuff in them. And it just feels so cluttered to me. It feels very cluttered and it feels constricted and I just can't imagine having all that unnecessary stuff. So what I've done, I decided to keep my apartment as spacious and as, as minimal as possible. Like I just got the bare minimal essentials and my decorating style, as you guys have seen in my pictures, those of you who follow me, I'm gonna show some pictures an example of this course, but I keep my style very simple, open, light, and not as cluttered because it gives me peace of mind. And not only that, it goes with my values. Like the older I get, the more I realize that I value freedom, I value travel, I value things other than material things. And as I've grown to become the woman that I am now, like this stuff does not serve me anymore. So some tips to give away stuff. Um, just take the purge and do it. 
just just do it do it do it do it do it and to make the process simpler give it to someone that you're close to or you know give it to goodwill give it to a cause that you care about and if you can't sell it like at the very least you can give it to, to people or a cause you care about or just you know give it away in donations write it off in your taxes whatever you may do even if you can't sell it because what happens is like giving it away that way if you have trouble parting with things if you give it away in a sense where you won't see it it'll be like out of sight out of mind and it'll be so much easier for you to let the process go and you're gonna find that you don't even miss that stuff that's what you're gonna find and it's gonna feel so like a weight lifted off of you and you'll be able to do the things you want to do you'll be able to function creatively and you'll also have the freedom to pick up and go wherever you want to go like if you find that an environment or where you're at is not suiting you there's not much stopping you because you don't have as much stuff bogging you down so that is the tip that i have for you guys and i hope this helped you guys all right ciao